not living in LA unless you've been to Tito. Nice of you to invite me. You know how much I love the LAFC crew. And <laughs> I don't know, let's do this. Oh, well, I hope you're hungry. I'm ready. Today, to let's get over it. I think you should probably go first here because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm going to take a little while. I'll have two tacos. With cheese? Yeah. And uh, I'll have a beef tamale. And then I'll do uh, one Tito's taco with, with cheese. cheese. Okay. And I'll do a side of rice. Would that be all? And that's it. So here you go. We wait in line. Now that appetite's going. Uh, a few things about Tito's here since 1959, so they're uh, going to celebrate. Did you prep all this before? Yeah, or did of you course know? I did. Have you used to hang out here? I though? used to come here all the time, but we got you to Culver City. Yep, Culver City. We also got you to Exposition Park. What were your expectations when you when you walked in there? Okay, so I will give you like my stages of, right. as a basketball New England kid growing up, made fun of soccer, right? My last Fair enough. experience was four and five years old, Hartwell the orange team, I think we were the maroon team the next year. Right. And then I always kind of hated like doing a national radio show. I would really get annoyed with soccer guy. And it wasn't even the sport. I would just, the fan that would tell me I wasn't smart enough, yeah. I don't get it. No. So then I don't know what happened. It probably was like the first World Cup experience that I had where if you go in, we all hate changing our minds, but you go in and you go, wait, am I into this? And then <laughs> you brought me to LAFC and I didn't know what to expect. And when I walked in, I couldn't believe what it was. I couldn't believe what the club has created. The way the section works, the chance, the energy that is non-stop for like, what, four hours pre and during the game? The 32-52. So I, I, I was really, incredible. you looked at that and I saw your eyes. Yeah. So They're huge because. And I went to, you know, I've known Tom Penn because the ESPN days. And I went up to him on the field before because you guys were nice enough to bring me down. And I, I went, how did you create this out of, thin air in six months and then he told me the backstory and the time so I, I really think as an outsider and somebody who's an outsider from soccer outsider from LA when I talk to other people I go your your expectations what as high as they are they'll be surpassed because it's that incredible fan experience you got to have that engagement from the fans here and that Took it over. I mean, that's something you could not have expected, but they got it. And I think that's a credit to everyone who yeah, comes in. The, the vibe in the place is really cool. Uh, the, the color scheme. I mean, I, I know this, this feels like I'm coming on because you buy, I hope you're buying the tacos. Uh, but By the way, 19, I, when they opened, <laughs> 19 cents for a taco. What used to be 19. Oh, here's some more little Tito's I don't, tacos. The inflation doesn't bother me. I eight, feel like it's kind of a Eight thing. million tortillas a year come through here. Are you eight running out million. of material already? <laughs> Like make sure I get to the tortilla line. I love the tortilla line. The only regret I have from that night is that, um, and I, I feel like I mispronounce his name. If I don't say his name like every day. Player? He's my favorite player, and he was there. Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Damn, I see, I screwed it up. I knew I'd screw it up. It probably the only celebrity that I was, because, you know, I mean, obviously you understand people ask you for your picture all the time. I can't walk through that stadium anymore, I mean. You can't go to Tito's, that's why I'm back here. <laughs> but when I saw him, I went, oh, this would be really funny, because everybody knows, you know, we're doing all the shows, that I wasn't the soccer guy, I wasn't the soccer guy. And then, you know, I, I just, it's real. It's a real thing, it's really impressive. The setup is, is perfect, and I can see how, when you start thinking 10, 20 years down the road, like there's some real conversations about the hierarchy of how clubs will work. So I'm gonna go pick up the food. Okay. We'll continue the conversation over some of the finest fare in Los Angeles. All right, All right good. That, that, that was a good bite. You're a much better TV eater than I am. I don't know that yeah, you I are. am. I've been upright. trying. I'm reaching over the plate, stuff falling off the taco, and you are, look at that, that's beautiful. Great delivery, no shell came off. A little bit of cheese came off your chin, so I take it all back. There's an art to eating on camera, and you've got it, I don't. I didn't know if I ever had it. Though, Our producer agrees. You eat well on TV. I did not. 
Okay, but I didn't. And considering I host this show, I gotta work on that. That's true. <laughs> When you talk about it, and I know sometimes it comes out of left field. You go, hey, we're talking NFL, college football, NBA. Hey, let's talk about Lionel Messi. It kind of, how did France got me really yeah, excited. How do you right. get that? How does it feel yeah. like it doesn't come out of left field with, with, with the host, whether it's the producers, where it's everyone involved, where it feels organically part of the conversation? When I kept watching, because I've been watching sports my entire life, okay? And even though I'm not a soccer aficionado, if you sit there and you watch sports your whole life, and then you watch another sport and you're watching it game after game after game. Like when I started to watch France, I'd go, okay, this is sick. Yeah. Like these guys are so talented. And I can front, talk about right, this. Like this, this could be something. And now I'm not going to say, hey, well, I think what France needs to do and they're going to need to change up the formation. Like I'm not going to be that dumb because I know I don't know what I'm talking about there. It's almost like a reality show. Sports are very similar in that if I watch and you start watching the beginning and you learn about the backstories and you sell the drama and what it means for LAFC this year, like that's what you have to do more than anything. You have to find a way to get guys going like, hey, you may not have liked soccer. We're not just going to ask you to like soccer. We're going to ask you to be interested in some of the storylines that we have. And once you can sell people those storylines, the, there you go. And the storylines are there and the, the guys are out there. So that was really good. Did you the have a good tacos time? tacos were good. Yeah, definitely. I wasn't going to go out tonight, but now. That looks good on you. I probably will go out. <laughs> Join us next time on Taste of LAFC. We're all over the city bringing you the hot spots.